wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Ramen may be found all throughout the country in what seems like an infinite number of different locales. Visit Sapporo in the north for some miso ramen topped with a slice of butter, or Kagoshima in the south for some pork tonkatsu soup with a hint of chicken broth and sardines. With chefs using premium ingredients to create bowls of ramen, the humble Chinese immigrant food has evolved into a global sensation. One of the most significant comfort foods in Japan, ramen is on every list of must-try Japanese cuisine. What is a ramen noodle? Ramen is a common Japanese meal preparation that combines soup and noodles made from simple components. The thin shape and golden color of the noodles are distinctive to ramen. The noodles are then added to a bowl of soup cooked with different kinds of stock. In fact, fat and bone broth are the main ingredients of the classic Japanese soup. However, as nutritional value increased and the Japanese government made it a priority to promote ramen as a national dish, the soup's original ingredients began to change to process chicken bones and seafood, particularly shrimp bones and skins. The History of Ramen Noodles The earliest known instances of ramen date back to 1910, when two Chinese chefs working at Tokyo's Reirikan restaurant first served noodles in broth under the name Shina Shoba, or Chinese noodles. The first bowl of Chinese-style noodle soup was given to Tokugawa Mitsukuni. The maker was a Ming Dynasty exiled Confucian scholar who accepted an invitation to visit Mito Domain. Ramen is supposed to have become popular during the Meiji period only when it was added to the menus of eateries in the Chinese neighborhoods of the cities of Kobe and Yokohama. Another interpretation claims that Shia ramen, which was first served in Hokkaido during the Taisho era, is the source of the ramen that is currently popular in Japan. Different Ramens Those of you who frequently eat ramen noodles are probably already familiar with the different varieties that are available. There is no need to worry for those of you who don't know, though. Here's a little information on the many kinds of ramen. View the list below. Shio. The oldest addition to ramen soup is shio, or sea salt, which takes inspiration from its area of origin in mainland China. Its presentation includes chicken cutlets, leeks, various veggies, and nori, among other toppings. Shio soup is more salty than other varieties of ramen and is yellow in color. Shoyu. Japanese fork soy sauce is shoyu. Shoyu is frequently blended with chicken, fish, pig, or even beef broth. This particular variety of ramen is distinguished by its brilliant, brownish-black soup, which is made entirely with soy sauce. The toppings of bamboo shoots, nori, fish cake, boiled eggs, leeks, and bean sprouts are most frequently served with shoyu ramen. Miso when compared to Hokkaido's shio ramen and shoyu ramen, miso ramen can be regarded as newer and less traditional. This ramen is distinguished by a richer brownish-yellow soup because miso paste is used with either chicken or fish broth, and occasionally with pork broth. Tonkatsu Pork bone is referred to as tonkatsu in ramen. The soup in this particular variety of ramen is made from pork bones. This particular variety of ramen has a thick, white texture. Pork bones are used to make the soup, which is then cooked for several hours to produce a tasty white, fat broth. Curry Curry ramen soup, often known as curry, is distinguished by being thicker and having a deeper flavor than other types of soup. The use of highly potent curry spices is indicated by the food's slightly hazy hue. It appears that Indonesians who enjoy spicy food may find this curry ramen soup simpler to swallow on a gustatory level. How do I eat ramen in Japan? Ramen shops can be found throughout Japan. Ramen is a straightforward and quick meal, however, some of the most renowned businesses may have lines outside. It's impolite to continue to sit after you're done because most taverns are small. It is advised that you depart right away after eating your meal so that the person in front of you in line can get a seat. The majority of ramen restaurants offer a limited menu that only includes a few variations of their staple dishes and a small number of separately priced toppings. 
Gyoza and fried rice are two examples of sides, however, they are not always included. Many ramen restaurants do not employ wait staff in order to speed up the ordering procedure. Instead, there are vending machines with buttons that correspond to the available menus. Put money down, pick your ramen, toppings, sides, and beverages, and you'll get tickets. Give the cook your ticket, then wait while your order is cooked. You'll undoubtedly notice nearby diners drinking noodles as they eat. Noodles can be sipped, in fact, ramen is frequently consumed in this manner. For the authentic Japanese ramen experience, consider drinking your ramen rather than trying to do it precisely. There are various types of ramen, including shio, shoyu, miso, tonkatsu, and curry. To eat ramen in Japan, visit a renowned ramen shop, which offers a limited menu with a few variations of staple dishes and a few separately priced toppings.